Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. New Yorkers staging revolution against Ocasio Cortez, set to give her first major defeat. New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez may yet still suffer her first major defeat in her home state. That is because there is a growing movement among businesses in Long Island City to work to sway Amazon to reconsider its decision to nix them, ABC News reported. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and other officials are still trying to convince Amazon to reconsider its decision not to build a headquarters in Queens. The governor said Thursday that he has been in talks with Amazon owner Jeff Bezos, but so far he has not changed his position. Bezos abruptly canceled plans to build a headquarters in Long Island City after vocal opposition from some New York lawmakers. I've had many conversations with Amazon. I hope that they reconsider, Governor Cuomo told ABC News. Up until now, we haven't seen any change in their position. It would be helpful if the state Senate said that they would approve it, that would be helpful, he said. But in the meantime I haven't heard any changes, he said, which would be a disappointment to many New Yorkers. But the governor is prepared to offer guarantees of support to the company in a blatant shot at Ocasio-Cortez. Other local leaders are expected to go against the 29-year-old with an open letter to Amazon expected to appear in the New York Times. Opinions are strong in New York, sometimes strident. We consider it part of the New York charm. It is expected to say. But when we commit to a project as important as this, we figure out how to get it done in a way that works for everyone, it says. One local businessman, Josh Bowen, has already met with an Amazon executive asking them to change their tune, CBS News reported. Is this stupidity and madness actually even possible? He said of Amazon abandoning New York. This is a tragedy for Long Island City. He met with the Amazon executive on Valentine's Day and he said that the meeting went well for both of them. It was a good meeting, he said. Never say never was the words that were spoken to me. That's not a confirmation, but for a New Yorker that means we got work to do. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.